Hello, just want to quickly share with you the settings that I'm using on a GTX 1660 Ti while mining Ravencoin. In this video, we'll be going over two different settings. So the first one here will be the more aggressive overclock. We're going to be getting around 14.5 to 14.8 mega hash. The settings that we're running there is a power limit of 100 plus 175 megahertz on the core and a negative 1003 megahertz for memory. I can open up the overclock here. You can see that again, 175 on the core, uh, minus 1003 on the memory. And the reason I'm going negative on the memory is because Ravencoin is not that memory intensive. So when we do go minus 1003, we drop down to one lower uh, memory timing set for the GPU. So in sense, we're still getting good memory performance because we are dropping down into a more tighter timing range. So minus 1003 on the memory there. Uh, fan speed, I got pretty much cranked all the way up there, 75%. It's very... Uh, the GPU will run very hot if it's hotter out, uh, but today it's really cold, so yeah, that's why we're doing the test. But anyways, I'll quickly go over here to G minor, show you the hash rate live. Uh, we're getting around 14.7, 14.74 mega hash. Uh, you can see we're running about 1725 on the core. That's what it works out to be. Memory clock here is 5,250, power limit 100, and the efficiency is 147.3. Uh, so now what I'm going to do here is adjust the overclock. So you can see the GPU is running a lot warmer there and the ambient environment is about 27 degrees Celsius. So it is a lot cooler today uh, compared to even yesterday when I was testing. What I'm going to do here is drop the power limit down to 85 and hit apply settings and I will restart the miner. And while we're waiting for that miner to restart, uh, we're going to have a look at the current profitability and whether or not I would recommend mining Ravencoin on the 1660 Ti. So hopping over here, of course we do have ETH on the other GPUs, uh, but hopping over here to the profitability calculator. So uh, with the more efficient settings, I would say about 85 watts, you're gonna get around 13 mega hash, give or take, and that's what I put in here. Uh, you'll be doing about $2 a day in revenue after power, around $1.78 at uh, 12 and a half cents per kilowatt hour. But I still would recommend mining Ethereum at the moment because you can get 30 to 31 mega hash at about 80 watts at the wall, 70 in software. So the profitability uh, is actually quite a bit better for Ethereum there. You can see Ravencoin, $1.78 after power, and Ethereum is about $2. And now, I mean, both of these coins are pretty speculative and the sense that they both can move up and down in price, so one can actually be better in profitability. Um, however, I do feel at the moment Ethereum makes more sense to mine, just because even if the profitability is the same, uh, Ethereum does use less power, so the GPU will run cooler. But anyways, here in G Miner, you can see around 13.4 mega hash at about 85 watts in software, and our efficiency has gone up significantly from 147 all the way up to 157, so you are getting a little bit more efficiency, and due to this really poor cooling design that Zotac has on their mini cards, uh, the temperatures do fluctuate a lot depending on how much power you are putting through the card. So that's where on this Zotac GPU, I am gonna be continuing mining Ethereum. Uh, but if you are looking for 1660 Ti overclock settings, you're more than welcome to try these out and let me know how they work for you in the comment section below. And if you are mining Ravencoin on a 1660 Ti, uh, it'd be appreciated. You can drop a comment, let me know what kind of settings you are running, what's your power limit, what's your hash rate, and uh, what your thoughts are on mining Ravencoin or potentially a different algorithm on the 1660 Ti. Anyways, it's going to wrap up my video. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out in the comment section below. Goodbye, goodbye.